Hi everyone, it's Christy from Winning the Netball Club. I'm the tech officer with the club, so I'm the person behind the website and all our social media accounts. You've also probably seen my face around at our registrations and game days down on Saturday. So today I'm going to be revising our original video of uh, how to register online. Uh, we've now um, completely gone online for all registrations and that will be um, from now on, no paper anymore, which is great for both you and us. So I'm just going to take you for a quick run through um, just to make sure that everybody knows how to do it um, and how to contact us if we're having any issues. So when you come to our web page, which is here, you're going to need to go to the players tab. Now there are a few options here. The first one is just an information page that I've um, put up just about the new registration process as well as payment information. We've also got two options here for registration. If your child is turning 10 this year or under, you are going to need to use the Net Set Go registration site. Um, so even though we do grade our 10s, they are still classed as Net Set Go. So please use this registration page here. For everyone else, so that's um, juniors to opens uh, as well as coaches, you're going to need to use this option here. So anyone uh, who's turning 11 this year and up, you're classed as a junior uh, or an opens player. Coaches, you will need to register as well as uh, this just makes sure that you are covered uh, under our insurance so that if anything happens, financially you're covered and we're covered as well. So I'll quickly run through the process with you. It's pretty much the same for both Net Set Go and Juniors. Just remember when you um, register for Net Set Go, you will be given two options on the opening page of either a skill set or the competition. Please select the competition, even though it says eight to 10, they do take all ages. So just select the competition. That means they're playing the games on Saturday morning. The skill set is just where they go into the stadium and they learn basic netball skills. Um, even though we do offer that uh, through the Illawarra Association, most of our players do prefer to do the competition on the Saturday. So um, when you do the net set go, just make sure you're um, entering that option. And you can write down who they'd like to play with if they've got friends from school. So that's fine, that's not gonna be a problem. So let's just go into here and I'll show you the page that uh, first comes up. So you'll be given two options. So returning user, so the participant ID that you got sent, you're going to need to enter along with the password. If you have not that, received that email or it's lost, can't remember receiving it, please contact either myself or Lynette. Uh, you can do that via email or Facebook private message and we'll get the details sent back out to you. Alternatively, you can um, click forgotten login details. Uh, you will have a window pop up and you will be given the option of entering your email address. The only time this isn't going to work is if your email is an old or incorrect email address in our system. Um, we've had problems where people haven't given us email addresses before, they haven't had one, or um, your husband or partner has gone and registered the child so they've used their email address but now you want to use yours. Um, so if you have any issues, again, just contact us and we'll get it sorted and make sure you get those details. Quickly, if you are new to the club, um, that is you are a first time player, you're going to need to come over here. If you've played netball in the last couple of years, whether it be with our club or any other club across Australia, you're actually already in the system. Um, so you just have to enter your first, last name and your date of birth and um, click on find me. Now again, if you're new, that's fine. You do the same thing. Uh, it's a little confusing, but that is just the way that um, the program has been set up for us. So then you scroll down and it'll ask, is this you? Now for me, um, I've actually got three options. Don't worry about uh, Netball Australia or um, iDNA. That's um, just the hierarchy of how it all works. What you want to focus on is a club. So if it comes up with a club, whether that be us or not, that's fine. Uh, you may have played with, say, Coromel or Norths, or we've had people coming um, who have moved into state. So uh, you will email, again, your login details. Now this here just sort of gives you some idea of if that's going to be the correct email we're sending to you. The, uh, you can have it 
um, emailed to you again so you've got the login details or it may um, ask you to contact us. So again, that's fine. PM us or give us an email. If you don't come up on the system at all, you may have played eight, ten years ago. That's fine. Just create a new record here. So, um, but for return users, um, people who have played before, once you've got your details, you can go log in. and it'll take you through to our first page. Now, just ignore the prices on this um, because I've already registered. Uh, it's giving me a different option, but um, for seniors, it's 160, juniors, 145, and non-players. So um, as you can see here, coaches, managers, and umpires, it's 47. Okay, so this is just, you will just choose um, which one you wanna go through. Um, so click which one. Just note um, any of these down here. So seniors, this is mainly for you, just about the umpiring duties that we have this year um, and the requirement of doing your online section one theory exam. Um, there is another video that explains how to get into the My Netball portal and how to complete this. So make sure you jump onto our YouTube and watch that. Now, as you can see, my details are all in the system already. So as I've said before, if you've played with us or another club before most of the time, all of these things are gonna be on there. Just read through though, make sure things like your email and your um, phone number are correct. So, um, and then go through, you can update anything else. Um, this one particularly here about the photo, so click yes or no. Um, we're totally fine if you don't want your child or your photos on the um, website and social media sites, that's totally fine. Uh, if you are a Winuna Bula RSL member, make sure you put your member number in there. Um, we actually give that information back to the club. Uh, make sure you do next of kin, that's really important, any regular medication, so that includes anything like an asthma puffer, EpiPen, anything like that, um, put it in there, that's good for our coaches, managers um, to know. Uh, which of the following will you be doing this season? Um, you can tick one or as many as you like, your ANZ team, if you're playing, click your um, preferred positions. Now here, um, this is for anyone that you um, know playing at the club. So if your little one has friends um, at school that they want to play with, that's fine. Note it down in there and we do really try and keep friends together when they're littlies. Um, accreditation level, so this is um, for coaches or umpires. Um, so you can just update that information there. Um, you can enter school if you like, working children's check and just enter that in there. Um, if you are coaching or managing, you will be required to have your working with children's check and that's a really simple process as well. I've got the information up on the website on how to do that. Read through the information, make sure it's all correct, accept the terms and conditions go through now payment um, so of course as we said before um, there will be now normally it does come up with um, two options so you do have the option of a credit card process so that um, just requires you to enter your credit card details online there is a 1.78 percent surcharge on that so that's the system um, within our registration system that we use or you can opt to do cash check or direct deposit just um, make sure that you are aware that we require full payment before the first game of the season. If um, we come to that weekend and we haven't received a full payment from you, unless uh, you know there's been discussions beforehand, we will be chasing you down and unfortunately you or your child will not be able to take the court. Um, we just don't want to spend the whole season chasing people. Um, yeah, so and then you would click submit. So I'm not going to do that because I've already registered. I don't really want to register twice. Um, so that's just pretty much the basic um, walkthrough of our registration system. Again, reiterate, if you have any issues, um, give us a phone call or an email or a private message on our social media site. Um, and make sure you do like us. Uh, we are on Facebook. Um, so again, that's a really easy way um, for me to update um, 
information, especially if I'm away from my computer, it's really quick for me to jump on and do it um, via Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, with Facebook, you do have the option of signing up to our email and as well, make sure you check our events tab. This is really important. This is where I put up the events such as um, registration days, grading days, um, start of the season, things like our bake sale, anything like that is going to come up in the events tab. Make sure you keep checking that so you know what's going on within the club and make sure you share it too. That's the best way of getting news out there. Share it with anyone you know uh, in the club or friends in general. Um, yeah, and just make sure you jump on. We are on Instagram as well and we're also on Twitter. Social media is a really great way of sharing uh, information quickly and it's a great, great way for you guys to stay up to date with what's going on. Uh, so again, come back to our website as often as possible, check out what's going on, check out on your news videos and we also have information regarding rep trials and anything like that. Um, I hope this uh, video has been informative and that you can register online from now on without any hassles, but please feel free to contact myself, Lynette or any of the other committee members and we'll be glad to help you out.